Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jace here from Gen Z Reptiles and today we're going to be showing you how to ship out your reptiles with live arrival guaranteed. Using this method, we've shipped out hundreds of snakes and never had one arrive DOA, so that's dead on arrival. With that being said, let's get right into this. So we wanted to start by listing off all the materials that we use to pack up our snakes. First up, we have our cardboard box, and a key important thing on here is the Lacey Act label, which by law you have to have the species of reptile you're shipping and quantity in there. Um, we generally use that 12 by 9 by 6 size, and we order these in bulk off of Ship Your Reptiles. You can order them as individual kits or in big cases, um, whatever suits your needs. And then these are the three quarter inch styrofoam inserts that act like a cooler. It's insulation for the snakes when they're in the shipping process. The next thing that we use is pillow fluff. So it's this polyfill right here. And we, it, the cheapest way to get it is actually just buying a pillow, um, $3 pillow is what we use. So um, that provides cushion for the snakes during shipping. The other important things are gonna be something to contain your snake with. We use snake bags, uh, temperature control, this time of year, we're using a heat pack, so we'll do a demonstration of how we attach that to the lid. We also have your tape to put the box together. We use saran wrap to um, basically attach the heat pack to the top of the lid. And then we got a drill for air holes. We have an extra label. We just happen to have these around, so this isn't super crucial, but we like to have it um, just so those who are handling the package are more careful with the live animals inside. Uh, paper towels, we use this inside of the snake bags just so that um, it creates a little bit more volume inside of that snake bag for the snake during shipping. And the last and one thing that has been super beneficial for us is this arc scan label printer. We'll talk a little bit more about it in a second. So our assumption is you guys know how to build a box, put the inserts in already. And so the next step would be air holes. And this part is super important so that the snake can breathe during shipping. So what we do is we use a drill and a quick tip, if you put the drill in reverse, it actually comes out with a very nice uniform clean hole. So um, this is how it looks. goes through, looks really nice from the outside. Some people will stab pencils through or screwdriver through. Um, you want the air hole to be a quarter inch. That's what's recommended by the shipping companies. And this just makes it so it's easy and uniform. The customers really appreciate the professional looking aesthetic of the hole. So the next part of the process for us is we pre-fill the packaging material inside of the box in preparation for the snake to go in there. And like I mentioned, we use the filling from a pillow. And so we'll cut the corner on the pillow and then pull out this polyfill right here. And we just fill it in so that way um, it's covering all the bottom and sides. The big benefit of using this as a fill material is that it allows for good airflow throughout. So that's good for the snake's breathing. And then another thing is it just does an excellent job at um, keeping the snake well cushioned during transit. So that way, even if it were to get rustled a little bit in the package, the snake is safely nestled in there. And then the last bonus to this is that it is aesthetically pleasing. So you'll have happy customers. We've got plenty of feedback about um, how nice our packaging is. And I attribute it definitely some of that to the polyfill. Um, it just looks nice. It's a pleasant unboxing experience for them. So the next part will be putting in the heat pack, and this is vital during the cooler times of the year. So when your highs are below 70 degrees, that's when you wanna be using a heat pack. And this method that we're gonna be talking about is something that we kind of innovated here at Gen Z Reptiles, something we came up with ourselves, and it's been very effective for us. Um, one source of dead on arrivals is having the heat pack directly touching the snake during shipping. To avoid that, what we do is we'll use a paper bag and we'll secure it to the top of the lid with our saran wrap. So basically what we'll do is we'll start by opening the tab right there and the heat pack looks pretty basic. It kind of looks like a hand warmer and it's super important to use the ones that are specifically made for snakes. The hand warmers get way too hot and they will for sure um, kill the snake if it gets too hot in the box. So you want to use these ones that are specifically made for reptiles or small animal shipping. And these ones are the 40 hour um, steady release packs. So they will, uh, I think it's about 100 degrees is the average temperature of the surface of these. Um, and that'll last through 40 hours of shipping if for some reason there's a delay or something like that. 
This red stripe right here is the oxygen barrier. So it's vital for this part to stay exposed to oxygen. So that way the heat pack can continually heat throughout the process. What we do is we tuck it inside here because this paper bag keeps it secure during transit. But what we'll do to ensure that this is exposed is cut a little slit in there. So I'll just go ahead and I just kind of follow this line right here as a guide. So it's kind of in the middle there. And then I'll go ahead and make a nice slice. And that way it has enough air hole, but it's not um, too big so that the heat pack falls out. And then we'll just tuck it in there like that. So the red, I uh, went a little too far. The red will stay right in this area like so. And then we'll fold that over and it should stay pretty good on there. So the next part of the process is getting it to stay to the top. And what we used to do is tape onto it, but the tape doesn't stick super well. So I was like, huh, what can we do to make this different? And we decided to try this out. This is a saran wrap and it actually works quite well. So uh, get it started, peel the edge, and then just wrap it a bunch of times. All right, so that thing is not gonna go anywhere. That's in there pretty secure. And this has been big for us because the whole taping thing, it used to fall down and take, took forever to get it to stick to the top. So this is something we definitely recommend. It's not super expensive to get these materials. They're readily available and it's just a big game changer. We're shipping out this beautiful black pastel banana head ghost. He is just stunning. But anyway, you might notice a few of the water droplets on him. And the reason is because we just took him out of the bath. So we like to give them a bath before they ship out. Gives them a chance to get hydrated. Sometimes that'll stimulate them going to the bathroom, which is good. You want to have an empty stomach if possible when shipping. And once they get out of the bath, they go into the snake bag. And we'll go ahead and take paper towel and put it in there as well. Uh, creates a little bit of space in there. And then also if they were to go to the bathroom, it helps soak it up. And then some people use the uh, twist ties or zip ties. For us, we find as long as you secure this pretty well, we wrap each string around it two times. And then we tie a nice secure knot, which these um, fasteners were intended to be the fastener for the sink bag. So we just use this like so and make sure that it is fastened well. And that snake is ready to go inside of the box. Like I said, this boy is ready to go in. So what we'll do is we'll uncover some of that packing material and we'll make sure that there's a nice layer on the bottom still, but put him as low as possible just to make sure that he's not directly touching that heat pack. And once we get him tucked in there, we'll fill that polyfill back in there. And then this will go face down on top of that. And the last thing we'll do is we'll put their invoice on top and seal it up. The final and most important part of this live arrival guarantee method is to ship directly to a FedEx hub near the person that you're sending the snake to. And the reason why this is very important is because a majority of the mishaps that happen with the snakes and the packages happen in that period of time between when the snakes arrive at the hub and when they're on the truck for delivery. There can be delays, there can be mishandling of the package, and the environmental control inside of those trucks is not very good. So if you ship directly to a hub for pickup, the people are able to pick them up first thing in the morning once they arrive and get there and they are sitting in a temperature controlled environment. And our last bonus tip, if you never wanna buy ink again, is get yourself one of these guys. It's an ArcScan thermal label printer. So no ink is needed and it prints out the perfect four inch by six inch label. So that's this size and it has an adhesive back. So when you peel it off, it's just like a sticker and it sticks perfectly onto your package like that. So for confidentiality reasons, we're blocking out the customer's info, but that's what the label looks like. Um, super easy. And just like that, you guys are ready to take your package to FedEx and ship your snake to its new home. You guys, that does it for our how to ship your animals out with live arrival guarantee. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was informative for you. And if by chance you have any more questions or you would give some different tips for shipping out, we'd love to see those in the comments down below. Once again, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.